so I need a haircut. Or at least, that's what I say. And I think most people do. I need a haircut, you know? We use that term need like we're talking about water or pizza. But I don't know if it's that serious. You know, I could just grow my hair out again. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Sorry. <laughs> not gonna happen. No, I need a haircut. Uh, yeah, I definitely need a haircut. So uh, that is what I'm off to this morning. You told me I'm your anchor. I told you you're my pole. Through the wind and fire, we try to hold on. We build this ship together, searching for a home. Despite the storm that hit us, we're still on board. Dancing in the moonlight, the world just stop and stares. We got no destination, I'd take you anywhere. All the doors we've opened, and all the books we've closed. Words just come together, story that we never told. So far is shaking for my own. You say. And there you have it. That was my guy Jordan over at High and Tight. I've been going there for a while. They do a really good job um, over there. I made that kind of joke earlier about like needing a haircut. Do you really need a haircut? But I was thinking about this. Uh, when I don't, when I don't have a, a, a haircut that I'm excited about, when I'm worried about my hair, I think about it all the time. I'm like, man, I really need a haircut. And it takes up way too much mental time and space. So, well, I don't need a haircut. I don't think people really need a haircut. Um, for me, now that I have a haircut, I can go worry about things that are far more important. So that is what I'm going to go do now. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.